Okay, so you, we finally made it. The 20th and final episode of Popcorn Vendors. Hope you guys enjoy. This week on Popcorn Vendors, Colby and Tim return to the park where they started it all. And they finally finish the Popcorn Vendor series after six years. Theme music. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, wait, are we recording? Oh, uh, yeah, we're recording. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, wow. We were just talking for so long in the car, and every time we would yeah. say something, I was like, It's oh, like, uh, 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 we, should, should we save it? Yeah. Uh, so here we are. But we, we oh. did our best at trying to save the conversations. Oh, oh my gosh, Colby. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. The, the, we are recording the for the for, after seven years, six years. We're finally recording wow. the last episode of Popcorn Vendors. I know. And it's bittersweet because we went to the same location, same exact location, same exact bench as the very first episode yeah. to cap it off. Bro, I was just thinking, like, what were we thinking the first time when we recorded here? It's so loud. That's a good question. <laughs> like, there's, like, a fountain that's making noise. There's traffic going by. There's an airplane that goes over our head every five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Maybe that's why we never came back here. Yeah, we just I, started recording it in my room. Bro, like... I, but thankfully, it's a good day. There was always times I was like, man, we should film another on-location site. Like, we go to a Buffalo Wild Wings and just record there mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> you know? Can you imagine setting up the microphones in the Buffalo Wild Wings? <laughs> the, the craziest thing is they won't even care, dude. You think so? In, in our Buffalo Wild Wings, no. Yeah. They would not care. Oh my goodness. The guy walking looks exactly like somebody I knew in college. Maybe I, it is. I sang a song. It's a doppelganger. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would be. That's fun. Anyway. I, I want to meet my doppelgangers. Uh, You're supposed to have six of them. You know. I I found one of them online once. How? Well, a friend of mine sent a picture, and he's a theater kid too. Mm -hmm. And so he said they sent a picture of him doing like the splits dancing, and I was like, I don't remember what play is this from. What what is it? I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's that's not me. You I, feel, wait, so you saw it and for a second thought that you were the one doing this? Yeah, place. I was just like, wow. I actually posted it on my Instagram That's as if I was the one who did it. And they were just like, and then like like a couple spaces below, I'm like, it's like, I didn't, <laughs> this isn't me. That's funny. Man. Oh, man. But so many people thought that it was me. Yeah. Anyway, but the purpose. That's funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Anyway, yeah. so the topic for our last and final episode is popcorn, popcorn. vendors. Like, isn't that appropriate? Our yeah, pop yeah. It's called popcorn vendors. It's like when uh, bands make a like a self-titled album, and you <laughs> and you know the album's important. The last song by Twenty One Pilots is called Twenty One Pilots. Really? I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just using that as an example. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I stopped listening to them. I did see them in concert though. I like years were, years back. Were they a Christian band? Uh, yeah. Like very subtly. 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 Well, it, it, not like Christian as in like um like sending praises to Jesus more so just asking questions okay yeah okay because the first album was just basically asking like God I know you're there but I'm having some doubts it's kind of what the first album was about oh I see yeah the, he's, the thing is like yeah great album though I feel like they were also loved by the secular culture as well yeah because I remember yeah. one of their songs was in the Civil War Captain America movie. See, there's oh, an wait, airplane it right was? now. Which one? Uh, the uh, Civil War. Oh, uh, no, which song? Which song? Do you remember? It was like, oh, 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 yeah. I'm falling so The, the radio one. Yeah. I never watched, I, I don't think I've seen any of the Captain Americas. Yes, you matter. have. I don't think I have. Yes, I've only have. seen him in the Avengers movies. I, I saw you when you were watching Civil War. Do you remember that? Dude, I don't think I've ever. I was, seen I was. I was. I. I, I, th I think I've seen a few clips from it. I've never sat down and watched an entire Captain America. Are you movie. sure? Because when I was coming out of Civil War, you were coming in, and we said hi. Uh, dude, maybe it was a different movie. Okay. Well. Very well then. <laughs> I don't Dang, know. Dang, that really happened. Yeah. Oh wow. You don't remember <laughs> that? I did not see Civil War in theaters. Oh my gosh. Don't you remember when Tony and Cap are just like, the, the Accords, man. You need to sign the paper, the Accords. 
He, he waved at a biker yeah. driving by. <laughs> I sent a peace sign to a biker. He just stared at me and kept biking. Yeah. It kind of hurt my soul a little bit. And there was another couple who passed by while Dude. we were talking about 21 Pilots. <laughs> so I was kind of like, gee, I sure hope this doesn't like offend them if we're talking about 21 Pilots. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that's my favorite band. How dare you? Uh, no, waving at the biker. Every time I go to Six Flags, which isn't very often anymore since it's kind of for like young teenagers, kids, oh, and Oh, whatnot. what are you talking about? I want to go there right now. Another plane. You hear that? Yeah. This is like the most. I do. Yeah. I anyway. have a. Actually, let me let me take this laptop. I have two okay. Six Flags stories. Okay. To tell y'all. All right. Uh, so the first one is every time I go there, I like to play sour and sweet with uh, just all the strangers. I like hold my hand out and see how many people give me high fives. <laughs> no one does it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like people don't have joy in their lives anymore. Like literally looking at a 13 year old boy, like I'm gonna ignore him. I don't want to high five them. Are you like on a ride trying to get people? No, high-five? no. Oh okay. my gosh, no. When you're just walking around. Really? Yes. Okay. Because when you said that, I was thinking like you were on a roller coaster <laughs> and there's like they're on the balcony and you're like, no one was high fiving me while I was reaching out my hand. I that would that, be hilarious. <laughs> like, That'd be hilarious. it would have been hilarious if people actually. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have a memory from you and I at Six Flags. Okay. What was it? Okay. Do you remember we were on that one? I can't remember what ride it was, but I remember it was kind of one of the more epic ones. And you were sitting by yourself. It's, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And the buckle thing went down, but it didn't click. There was no click. And so mm-hmm. you knew that it didn't click. And so yeah, right. You were Obviously. terrified. And so you're going on that, doing all these loop-de-loops, and you're just <laughs> thinking, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm going to fly Because I think, because they have those, like, little seat belts, like, awful car seat belts as just a precaution. I think that was the only thing on no, me. No, no, no. It was the, like, the thing that went, like, it was, like, one of those lever ones that, like, clamped down over you thing. Mm-hmm. Or it was one of those things, like, go over your shoulders. And it didn't click. It was, like, partially there. Uh-huh. And so you were doing all these crazy, that, yeah. crazy things. And, like, it's, I'm, like, <laughs> cracking up, but... You could have died. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. We're was, laughing now, but like, there was like pictures and stuff of you being on. <laughs> ah! You weren't even that. that you were just like a very solemn, just like staring into the focus. Space. <laughs> yeah, you were just like, I have to survive this. <laughs> like clenching onto it. Yeah, it was dude, funny. That, that must have been a long time ago. It was. Yeah. That was, I think, the the day before Ryan and I started writing our rap battle. Oh my goodness. That, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was just to give you a point of reference as to how long ago that was. Yeah. And I think that was the only time we went to Six Flags with one another. I think you're right. Isn't that sad? That is sad. We well, do gotta go. Yeah, man. Why not? I, I don't know how much it costs for... It's cheap. Well, okay, here's the story I was gonna tell. Got Fright Fest tickets. They were both about 80, 90 bucks a pop because we got this package that guaranteed us entrance into each of the haunted houses one time. And obviously that's going to be a little bit more expensive than normal Six Flags tickets. Mm-hmm. We go either ha- Halloween night or Halloween night eve. Uh-huh. So we go when it should have been super packed and we get there. It's a far drive, by the way, over an hour. Mm-hmm. And we are literally in the line to get admit- admitted into the parking lot. Uh-huh. While we're in the line, there's cars driving uh past us like out of the parking lot Uh and someone was nice enough to roll their window down and tell each of us that the park just closed all of a sudden really they just weren't open because their admittance is is that the word attendance their attendance was too low but they lied and said it was bad weather which it wasn't and then we never got refunded for our tickets i had to take it up with the bank i went to my bank because i'm poor i mean yeah we're at the we're at the Poor age right now. Yeah, man. And I, I ramen needed the, noodle age. I know we're at the ramen noodle age, and they couldn't they couldn't do it because Six Flags has some stupid legal thing where when you buy tickets, no matter what happens, they will not refund you, which I think is extremely scummy. Well, then why don't they just shut it down every day? I know. Oh, people would complain. They yeah. Would figure it out, but still, that gives them a less motivation to stay open, even if something minorly goes wrong. Oh For my real goodness. Though. Dude, I remember why we never came back here. Like, you can hear, like, the airplanes. Like, yeah, now. This is the most now active. Now I remember. This is the <laughs> most active, like, noisy place in our city, I'm pretty sure. I feel like we're in a war zone right now. Like, 
cars over here, fountains, bikers. It's so active. It's almost kind of silly. I know. But anyway. Wouldn't that be funny, though? Like, just in the middle of a war, you're, like, running, and you just see two kids sitting down <laughs> in the battlefield. Hey, guys. So today I ate ramen for dinner. <laughs> Bro. What are they doing? Bro. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Do you have any... Did you have another Six Flags story before we dive into everything else? Um... I don't know if I told you, in one of the haunted houses, a pig was chasing me with the chainsaw, and I got so scared that I scraped my knee. Have I told you this? Nope, you have never, t you've never told me this before. I got so terrified of this chainsaw pig that I ran so fast, and I was running so fast, there was a ramp in the oh middle gosh. of the haunted house, and I didn't know, I tripped, I fell on my knee, the pig is right there, I'm screaming Bloody Mary, dude. And then I look for the nearest door, just wherever the nearest door is, I go through it, and that was like the employee door. But I was so scared, I didn't even care. Like, after opening the employee door, I kept running. <laughs> you, what do you, you say, that, dude? when you say a pig, like chasing you with a chain, is it, it, was, person, it was terrifying. Was it a person in a scary pig outfit? Yes. Think of, you know the Winnie the Pooh horror movie? I never watched it. But have you seen like the trailer? I saw pictures of the trailer. Yeah, yeah. that's the kind of. Vibe oh my it was. gosh, that's. Why did you go there even in the first place? How long ago was this? I was like 12. You were 12? I, I don't even know if I was legally allowed to be in the haunted houses. Well, that's why I was so scared. I'm not such a. I'm not that much of a wuss anymore. Well, but. I would be a wuss if a pig with a chainsaw yeah. came, came after me. Dude, I sounded like like that orange fluff ball in the Amazing World of Gumball, like before he hit puberty, bro. Never seen the show. Never seen I'm it? so sorry. All your That's references, I'm just not getting. Dang. But bro, I feel like I know the Gumball you fans are out there. I feel like you, as a 12 year old, did so many things that you probably like. like <laughs> yeah. Like so many, like you would hang out with all the 16 year olds. That's probably why we're friends. You hang out with all the 16 year olds. Mm -hmm. And you even went to prom yeah, when you were like 13 yeah. years old. Yeah, I did. You dude. were at my prom. And yeah. There you sh and you're. F I'm four years older than you. Yeah, and you know what's so funny is when I was an actual senior. All of my friends had already graduated, so I didn't go to prom. Well, you know I guess what I, mean? I guess the Lord was just like, you know what? He's gonna, not gonna have a, any fun with this actual one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have a lot of fun in my actual one. Why? Why not? I don't know. Let's t tell I, a story. I, I didn't know that. I was bored. Like, and you're bored. I remember eating. Were you, were you in our group? I don't remember. Of course, I was in uh, our group. We literally hung out like for a good large chunk. Dude, of Dude, that was like eight years ago. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. My brain was a lot more fresh. Sorry, I was just literally talking about this problem with another friend, and I was just like, yeah, yeah. So I had time to sit down and uh -huh. bask myself in the memories. I saw pictures too, but remember when we were like sitting down. At that table, and we were like, it was at the part where you're supposed to be talking with your friends. Yeah. And there was that yeah, band yeah. that played so loud, you yes. could not even oh hear gosh. the person who was sitting next to you. I know. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, why? This isn't a social event. It's a, I can't hear you event. I know. Yeah. And and, and I hear that's what uh, like clubs are like too. I've never been to the club, obviously. But ours was a homeschool prom. I know. But I've heard in the club too, like the music is too loud, you can't hear anyone. And it's like, that's not even fun at that point. Like the boom, 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 boom. Plus, I, clubbing culture, it's like, yeah. it's so, it's useless, dude. It's like, why does Preach. it even exist? Yeah. Right? Right. It's Preach. just, it's literally just people like dipping into like worldly things that like don't mean anything. Yeah. Like it won't, it won't like advance you any farther in life. Or give you anything that makes you happier when you leave. Yeah. You know, you ever yeah, you ever see, go to like a, I'm not even a big baseball fan, but you ever go to a big baseball game and you're just like, ah, yeah, you're just like screaming, you're having a good time. And mm -hmm. then you come back and you're just like, ah, that was a good time. I can't imagine yeah. going yeah. to one of those parties and coming back and being like, ah, that was good. I know, right? Uh, you know, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. ooh, I, I heard, like, uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to have that's a hangover so, that's in so the morning. That's so true, dude. You've ne I, you never go to a house party and leave it thinking, well, I had fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Because it's like the cops always come, someone's on the floor passed out, it's like, are they even alive? You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, that, you've, you've that been happened to once. These you've been to these kind of parties? I, I have been to house parties. Um, yeah, I have been to house parties. But it, it's it's useless, like I'm saying. It's just yeah. like clubbing, you know? I've, it's I've, unfulfilling. Yeah. I, I trust me, I believe you. i just seen enough and heard enough to know yeah. I'm okay. Bro, our bachelor, my, our bachelor party, my bachelor party that you were at? Yeah. Bro, 
that was so much fun. It's just Smash Bros, pizza, sodas. That it was actually a lot of fun. I agree. Yeah, man, that pinata. Remember the Batman pinata? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They just let me. <laughs> and and we were figuring out like how to throw it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. should we throw it up or throw it like in a forty-five degree angle? We became like mad scientists trying to calculate. We, it was just for the audience to know, like. We couldn't, didn't really have a tree to hang it up, so, so we were like literally like playing baseball with it. This mm -hmm. pinata that was filled to the brim with chocolate. Yeah, and there's this poor kid he, who I don't even know who he was. He was holding the pinata, and we're just hitting the thing with like a bat with blindfolds on, like less than a foot away from his arm. It might have been my brother in law, Maybe. or one of my brother in laws. Since now I have like, I, I didn't have any, and now I have like six. Well, yeah. not actually six, but like four. That's oh funny. man, but things. anyway, yeah. So we better get back on the actual topic. Oh my gosh. Or yeah. begin the actual topic. Or begin the... Well, this is the last episode. What are people going to do after this episode? Not listen to us? I'm like, that was such a lame episode. I'm not going to listen to the 21st one. <laughs> there isn't. There isn't a 21st episode. <laughs> it doesn't exist. You have no blackmail that you can... You can't... It's over. We're ending it right now. I know. Dude, there was like... I'm traumatized. There was like a couple walking their dogs and their baby... And I wait. They were walking their baby. Yeah. The, well, the baby was in the carriage. Oh, okay. Right. And I was like, if they turn like left or whatever towards us, I'm literally gonna stop them and ask them if they want to say hi on our <laughs> podcast because I thought it would be funny. But they turned the other way, and so they literally lost their chance to be famous. That sucks. Yeah, I know. Have you heard of this podcast called Podcast But Outside? No. It's these two guys who set up this little table. That basically says strangers are welcome to join the podcast. And they, really? they sit in new public places like every episode and just talk to random strangers. Oh my goodness, that yeah. is interesting. Wow, yeah. I kind of, I almost wish we thought of it. Are we allowed to, <laughs> man, no, are no, we, we can't. It's the last episode. If we ever start another oh, podcast. Oh, we could start another one. Yeah, but I. And rip off their idea. Yeah, hey, I actually have a confession. That's to make. what art is. I've actually started another podcast. It's not going to be released by the time this is out. Are you serious? Yeah. What is it? It's uh, a show I'm doing with Grandpa Josh. Are you serious? Yeah. Where's Grandpa Josh? Here? No, he's he's in Colorado. That's what I thought. Yeah, but we're so how are you going to do it? We figured out a way to record uh, separately at the same time. Wow. So like, I'm on. I'm recording my audio, but I'm on like phone call with him mm -hmm. with headphones on and he's doing the same yeah and we just splice the audio together and it sounds like we're in the same room dude that's a good guy to make a podcast with i know right and he's he, so much more intelligent than us bro so uh, he's gonna like go on those tangents he actually is intelligent and he has a good microphone too i, I was right. just like Man, he's a gamer <laughs> i i don't think so but guys when with every death there is a birth and so with the death of popcorn vendors there's you haven't been replaced mm -hmm. colby you yeah haven't been replaced yeah no, don't worry. We're, this was this podcast has been technically dead since 2018. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I know. It just feels like it's yeah, the timing no, I, is I, terrible. I don't, I don't care. Okay. Make as many podcasts hey, as Hey, maybe you can come on the show once. Like, oh, like, hey! After we get like enough momentum and mm -hmm. stuff, maybe you can just record on my microphone here or something. I'm so down for that. Man, that would be great. That would be great. That would be awesome. Like, like you would be the Jacob and Popcorn Vendors. I know. Bro. Be the guest star. Oh, just uh, popping in. Oh, segue. We're segueing. Speaking of segue. which. Segue. I thought it would be appropriate since we're ending the show. What was A, your favorite episode and episode to record? Uh, I literally charged this thing. Oh, dude, I love reminiscing like this. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, man. Um, Colby's Percy Jackson prank? What was that? <laughs> what was my prank? <laughs> his prank towards his sister involving Percy Jackson posters. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can retell it a little bit. The way I would prank my sister when we were, like, preteens is I would get, like, a very, like, just hated celebrity, a whole poster of them, and stick them up in her shower. Because I thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah. And she would always rip them down and tear them up and throw them in the hallway. But I would keep doing it. it was, <laughs> I, I put a Jake Paul poster in her shower. I put a JoJo Siwa poster in there. Bro. Yeah, that was funny. I did not know about the other ones. <laughs> yeah. I literally didn't know that this was a running on prank. That makes it so much funnier. Oh I know. Oh my goodness. I was committed to the prank, honestly. Oh, bro. Oh, dude. Dude, this guy is riding a bicycle with no hands. 
And he's steering it too. I don't know how he's doing that. Just a slight breeze of the wind, and he he's over. He's, he's just like guiding it with his knee. I have no. I've never seen that before. Dude, he is one inch away from falling into that pond. Oh, and there yeah, he goes. He's, he's safe. He's going under the bridge. Ah, uh, perfection. Okay, so yeah, so I, I'll say my favorite is um, the wedding one with Jacob. The most recent one um, it was just good times. Oh my gosh, I I I actually think the same for me. I yeah. loved that. I think that's actually our best episode is episode eighteen, and the yeah. our worst slash best episode is episode <laughs> one. Oh yeah, definitely. Episode one, I can listen to. I've listened to it over and over again, <laughs> and just crack up <laughs> because of how bad it is. Because because of how good it is at at, at being, being bad. bad. Like yeah. it's so funny. That's why I watch Gossip Girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you used to talk about Gossip Girl all the time on this podcast. I know. Did you? That was my you know? show, dude. Wow. I, I um, I never finish shows. For all the listeners who care that much about my TV viewing life, I just don't finish TV shows. Oh. I, not that it's too much of a commitment. I'm fine with committing, but um, it's just too much of the same over and over again. You know, shows go on for too long. They do. They milk it because of the uh-huh. producers and uh-huh. the industry and all that stuff. Yeah. But not popcorn vendors. We know right when to yeah, stop. Yeah, we're, we're like Breaking Bad. We, we, we stop exactly. leaving y'all wanting more. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then come out with a spinoff series like Better Call Saul that <laughs> yeah. does the exact same thing, but even better. I know. Oh, I mean, you like Better Call Saul better? I think so. Oh, wow. Right. I don't blame you at all for that. Um, it is amazing. What was your favorite episode to record? Was that episode 18 as well? Um, nah. Re- episode was- 10 was also fun. Remember when we had like all those friends there and they weren't really laughing and they kind of disappeared halfway through? <laughs> Do you remember? That, yeah, that was absolutely. a little demoralizing. Like, like we had a live studio audience, but then they, but then they left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> halfway through you just they're laughing at parts of it but by the end of the episode there's like nobody else there besides you <laughs> me and ryan bro i just reached out to ryan and he actually replied back are you serious yeah finally i know the hermit crab i know has responded i know i said hey man i heard you got married congratulations and he's like thanks bro and i'm like i heard you got married too congrats i'm like thank you yeah. actually i didn't text thank you i need to text him thank you back now i'm the hermit crab yeah. anyway well when did when did when was that exchange like today? Yesterday? Like two days ago. Nice. I, I'm just. So he's still alive. He is That's still. Good al- to know. I, it's just like, it's like Sherlock. You know, he leaves the little question mark at the end. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's Ryan right now. He just shows up and I ha- honestly have no idea what he physically looks like now. Yeah, same. He literally could be. He, he could, could look, literally look. He like could anything. literally look like somebody. Maybe I have seen him. Maybe he was the guy who gave me my coffee and I just <laughs> did not right, recognize right. him. Oh, uh, okay. But, okay, guys, don't get sad about this, but we're actually going to leave the park and finish the episode in Colby's house. Uh-huh. Dude. I'm sorry we to did betray same, everyone. We did the same thing in episode 19, because when we were recording it's, in the car. We should have learned from our mistake literally four days ago, but Dude, we didn't. Dude, we had 97% on this computer, and then it's, like, down in red bar. I, I think we were talking a little bit more than I was expecting us to talk. I thought we were yeah. just going to literally show up and that, but... Dude. Okay, wait a minute. Do you have any final words for this park and the ceremony? I'm very glad that we yeah. came here for this episode. It feels ceremonial. You, you know, dude. Man, it um, kind of felt like it was meant to be. I know. Uh, it does, dude. It dude. feels like this has happened in, like, other universes. The- <laughs> yeah, no, no. Someone listening will know what I'm talking about. When something feels so right, it's like, I've definitely experienced this in a parallel universe. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Maybe I'll watch too much TV. I don't know. I don't know. We're not but- enough. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels appropriate to have been here I know we're going to talk a little bit more about the actual meat of this conversation actually being here feels like a proper bookend I know since we were in episode one yeah but goodbye park goodbye park alright we'll pick up again at Colby's room which is also kind of appropriate swoosh swoosh Okay, so you were probably expecting to hear both Colby and I talking at his house. 
but the half hour of audio that we recorded at his house was accidentally wasn't recorded so yeah and i didn't find out until afterwards so this is how the episode is going to end i'm not entirely sure what we talked about we talked about what (laughs) popcorn vendors has meant to us in our lives colby said something along the lines of oh it's just cool to have this for ourselves and i was i said something along the lines of it was a lot of fun just having my first podcast and just being able to record and edit and just have that experience under my belt so i can go on with new podcasts so that's essentially what you missed this is the last episode of popcorn vendors Thank you guys for listening to all the episodes. They're all on YouTube. I hope you guys go ahead and listen to the entire playlist and you guys can actually enjoy these episodes for what they're worth. This has been Popcorn Vendors, a series lasting 20 episodes. God bless you all and goodbye. And that was episode 20. See you guys later.